Thank you for inviting me here. I thank you to Mustafa for inviting me here tonight to speak. I'm here, as the introduction said, as a Christian. And uh, I am going to tell you the way to salvation that I have learned from God. And in fact, I'm, I would tell you now, the way to salvation is available if you want the way to salvation if you find salvation you'll be a christian i'm going to explain that, all right because i know that will have mixed reaction all right and uh i would just like to start now you know, with a little uh, prayer i want to pray to god right? father in heaven i thank you for this evening and i pray father that your truth may be manifest here tonight. Lord uh, God, show those who would like to know the true salvation. To show them, Father, I pray that your truth be manifest, manifest tonight. In Jesus' name, thank you, Lord. Okay. Um, first of all, there's two things I, I want to uh, affirm to. One is that, uh, as far as I'm concerned, I'm going to give you my view, what I believe, all right? It's based on this. This is the Bible, the Holy Bible. Okay? We're all pretty familiar with that. And I, I believe that there is, that we, there is one supreme, all-powerful, all-loving, mighty God. Right? There, can't be more, there can't be more than one mighty God, can you? Okay? Because there, there may be other gods. But there is one God, our Creator, who made us. We did not just happen, and we did not evolve as many people would have us believe. God created us. Yeah. So it's very important that we understand there is one true God. And it's what we want to do is find out more about this God. What does He want for us? What's, right? What does He want of us? He made us. Why did He make us? And we must, I will keep in mind that we are looking for the way to salvation. That is the topic. So, I mean, what is salvation? Why do we want salvation? Now, there's a problem, isn't there? What is salvation? Salvation is eternal life. Salvation is, is deliverance from the power and the penalty of sin. And here we have a big key. You see, there is a problem. Sin. We call it, the Bible calls it sin. And we could talk about what sin is, but basically sin is disobedience. Because you see, God made everything. He made the whole world. And in the beginning, I won't open this book, but it's the Bible and so on. And everything I can tell you, I can back up the scriptures from this. Alright? In the beginning, everything was good. It says that. But in Genesis, doesn't it? In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And we've got to keep it brief. And everything was good. God was happy. He made the Garden of Eden. And He put man in it. His love child. But a problem came. In that, Satan, who had been thrown out of heaven earlier, he'd, he'd rebelled against God, and been thrown out of heaven. Now God sets up, God doesn't want to be on his own. He wants people to love, to share, to cherish, right? To fellowship with. He wants company. He's the Almighty God. He doesn't have to be on his own and have his pit in the world. He creates us because he, he loves us. We're his children. And he wants us to be not afar off, but as him. Like, like I want to have my friends equal with me. I don't want a friend who can't talk my language, or well, I'll still be his friend, right? But I want to enjoy their company. And if, I'm, if I was God and all-powerful, I 
would give you what I've got. I don't want you to be short. I don't want you to be left out. I want you to be my equal. Okay, now there's a sovereignty point here which we, we, we can't talk much about. But, okay, God made the world and he put man in it. And it was a garden of Eden. It was perfect. Everything was fine. They didn't have to work. God provided everything. Okay, and Satan came in. And he, and he tempted Eve. And Eve had been told, Adam and Eve had been told, don't disobey God. It comes down to disobedience. That's sin. God said, you can have everything. It's all for you there. I love you. He walked and talked with Adam. But don't touch the fruit of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Satan comes along and says, I've got it. God doesn't mean that really. Did you won't die if you do it. God said, you shall die. If you do. Okay? Well, what happens is, we know, Adam fell, Adam gave a sovereignty, a power that God had give, given Adam. God gave Adam dominion over his whole creation, the earth. And, and basically when Adam sinned, Satan gets the authority when, in effect, Adam worships Satan. And now Satan is the God of this world. And this world has not changed since that day. We have a problem. It's sin. Look outside, look around you, look what man's doing to a fellow man. Look what's going on. Look at the bushfires, I don't care. What... That doesn't come from God. Look at the hospitals, look at people dying. God doesn't want us to be like that, does he? He loves us. If he... he is a loving God. He didn't intend us to be torn up and ripped out. The Bible says Satan comes but to steal and to rob and to kill. He does. And he does it. He's good at it, isn't he? And he doesn't want us fellowshipping with God. He doesn't want us to know the truth. Okay. So, so moving right along, <laughs> I have to keep this short. Oh, my throat is dry. <laughs> Uh, excuse me, I'll drink stuff. Excuse me, please. Okay, so you see, God's lost his man. God has lost his people. He put them in the earth, and Satan has got them. And God is pure, perfect love. He cannot associate with sin. Now man is tainted with sin. And we, we are born in this world to sin. The Bible says... Satan is the God of this world, and he is. And there's plenty of evidence. So we have this problem in that there's a separation from God because of sin. And God has lost his love child. Okay. We don't choose to be born, but we are born into sin. That's the way it is. And it's still like that today. Okay. God has a plan. He says, okay, you guys will keep laws. You'll keep rules. Alright? You need to. And I will, you will make sacrifices. And, 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 and I will forgive your sin because of the sacrifices. And you'll keep the laws. That was the new covenant. Sorry, I beg your pardon. Good, you're away. Sorry, I don't mean to be rude, but you got me on that one yesterday. That was the Old Covenant, right? In here we have the, the Old Testament and the New Testament. Testament being covenant, same word. So in the Old Covenant, they were to keep laws. But, once again, man, we can't beat Satan. And men still sin. Men still couldn't do 